Good morning guys, welcome back to Southern Mud Pottery on the Homestead. If you're new to our channel or just joining, um, I want to take just a minute before I get started with our breakfast and um, tell you guys a little bit about what we do and who we are. Um, some of you have came from my husband's channel, Spirit of the Outdoors, and I thank you for watching his channel too. Um, we are work from home parents. We have an 18-year-old daughter. We have a three-year-old son who keeps us running. Um, so we work from home. We make pottery for a living. And we also garden, hunt, Justin hunts, fishes. I like to cook. Um, so we just kind of do country stuff around the house. But I decided to start videoing and um, showing you guys how I cook in the kitchen, making um, scratch recipes. Just basic cooking that you don't see a whole lot anymore. Um, so this morning is not going to be just really a tutorial on how to bake anything. I'm just going to take you guys along and show you um, a little bit what we're cooking for breakfast this morning. So this morning I'm going to cook biscuits, eggs, and bacon. And let me. So I'm just going to bring y'all into my kitchen this morning. Of course, I had to have my coffee. Now, I keep my flour sifted in this bowl. And no, we didn't make this bowl. We do pottery, but I didn't make this bowl. Um, this is one we just got from Walmart. It's a Pioneer Woman. But I did make a biscuit bowl for one of um, a friend of my husband's. And let me show you what it looks like. It's just been sitting on the counter. But look how beautiful this bowl is. This is going to be a biscuit bowl for a friend of Justin's. And I can't wait for us to get it to him. And I told Justin he needed to make me one, but he hadn't yet. I don't know if he will or not. So let's get started on these biscuits. Now, I don't have buttermilk. I usually like using buttermilk in my biscuits. But I did not have any, so we're just going to use regular milk, and I don't have but about this much left. Brody's not going to be happy, so i got to leave enough for Brody when he wakes up for his um, chocolate milk he likes to have. Get me a napkin. Now, I'm going to cook them in this skillet. So, I usually just use my hands for it. So I'm going to be getting them dirty anyway, and I just smear it around in my skillet. So today, I believe, is the second day of October. I may be mistaken. I'll have to, let me see. So today's the 3rd of October. So it is Monday, and it's going to be the 3rd of October, 2022. And we've got a lot to plan for this week. I've got some pottery deliveries I've got to make this week. We're working on Christmas orders right now. So I've got a lot of Christmas orders I've got to get finished up. So, And I don't cook biscuits every morning, but I, I usually try to fix something, whether it's cereal or, or you know, you just never know what it's going to be. Now, some people don't like getting their hands dirty. Some people like using a spoon, but I am going to just use, I make me a little well in the center. And I usually wait, make way more biscuits than what we eat for breakfast because Lizzie's at school. She's usually, if she's not at school, she's at work. So, she doesn't usually eat breakfast. It's usually just me and Brody and Justin. Brody will usually eat one, one little biscuit. He's not a very good eater. But. We are enjoying this cool weather here in Mississippi. We've had a pretty, not too, too hot summer, but a hot summer. And it's just now started to get um, cooled off the last 
three or four days in the mornings. It's really cool in the mornings. We usually sit in here with the doors open in the mornings, but um, Justin was going to leave it open. I was like, no, shut it. I said, it's too, it's too cold. Which, it's, it's a nice cold. Let me put it that way. This is how my mom made biscuits. Comment below and let me know how you guys were raised. What kind of biscuits you were raised on? Were they made like this were they spoon stirred or drop biscuits or were they walmart biscuits my mama she can make good biscuits but she used a lot of the frozen biscuits but they were still good so our plans for today on this third of October. It's squirrel season has started here in Mississippi. I don't know what it, where, when it starts, where you're from, or if y'all hunt, but my husband likes to. But the side-by-side -side that he uses has got to have some gas in it. So we're going to go sometime first thing and get gas for that. Try to clean my hands off a little bit. So we're gonna do gas for that, and then we're um, gonna come back and start work for the day. Of course, I have to take Brody. I usually have somebody keep him. My mom usually keeps him, or my husband's mom. So we have to take him somewhere. I, no, I try to get all the biscuit dough off my hands into the garbage can before I wash them off. That way we don't have a clogged up sink. Because I'd hate for Justin to have to clean the drain out. If y'all if y'all watch his channel, I. He'd probably have to do a video on it if he had to, and he wouldn't be happy. Now, sometimes I'll use my um, little wood cutting board or either the table and put some flour on it and kind of roll these out on the table, but this morning I'm not gonna do that. This morning, I'm going to make them right here in this pan. Well, this bowl. It's not a pan. It's a bowl. Now, you don't, I don't work them too much because if you work it too much, you're going to have a hard biscuit. Nobody likes a hard biscuit. And all I'm doing is just kind of flipping it around. I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring y'all a little closer so y'all can see when I start patting these out. How y'all like my new shirt? My mama bought me this shirt at Tractor Supply. It says, this, this little old heifer has been cooped up, which I haven't been cooped up. It's been summertime, so I've been out. If it was wintertime, I could say I'd been cooped up. But after we make these biscuits, we're going to fry some up some bacon from some sliced bacon that we had sliced and um, eggs that came out of the chicken from our chickens. So y'all comment below and let me know, ladies, are y'all decorating for fall yet? Or are y'all using bombs or pumpkins? Or if y'all watch our chat, watch our previous videos, y'all see we had a pumpkin patch 
And this weekend we set up and sold pumpkins. We have what we call a highway 15 yard sale every fall. And it just goes for miles and miles and miles. And um, so we set up down there and sold pumpkins. And we still have, a, we brought about a trailer load back. But that was a, that's what we did Saturday. So of course I've got pumpkins on my front porch. Do you tell me what y'all are planting on your porch? And this is not, I'm not gonna get a full pan of biscuits because we don't eat, a, we won't, I mean, even if we warm some up for supper, we still wouldn't eat all these biscuits. That's a little beauty biscuit. That can be a Brody biscuit. And my mama, she always would take her fingers and she would push her biscuits down just like that. Now, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven and get that going. And get this flour off my fingers. So I'm gonna preheat the oven and I'm gonna get the oven going. I cook mine on about 470, anywhere from 475 to 500. Um, you wanna cook them, as, get the oven as hot as you can. So you wanna preheat it up as hot as you can and then cook them in there because the faster they cook, the more tender and soft they'll be. Okay, so I have to lean down because I'll just tell you, I've, my tripod that I usually use is not in here. So I have got this little table tripod stacked on top of a pot. And then there's four bulls on top of the pot. So just so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna cook some bacon and I'm just gonna tell you about this bacon real quick. This bacon is bacon that we have. We have an old country store and it is called Williams Brothers. And um, I can't remember what year it was built, but it was built way, 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 way back. My my grandma is, it's over 100 years old, the story is. So, my grandma used to go there as a young girl, and she is 100. She just turned 100 this year. So, um, anyway, so we go there, but they have um, big slabs of bacon. And they just slice, they slice them off for, for you in this slicer. So, we had this bacon sliced. Now, I cut, it still has the rind on it. So, I have to cut this rind off because you can't hardly eat it. So, I cut that off and then, but it is the best tasting bacon. So, I'm going to start cutting this rind. You can get it started and then it'll kind of just peel off. I tore that slice. But it'll still cook right up. A lot of times I'll cut my bacon in half because I don't like it to wad up. And you know how bacon gets all jumbled up on your in your skillet. And I'm cooking this in a cast iron skillet. What's y'all's favorite thing to cook your meats and stuff in? I I do have a um, a stainless steel skillet that I got when me and Justin got married. It's been, we got married 19 years ago. And we got one for our wedding gift from his uncle. And those have been the best pans. And I think they were made by Rainbow. I don't really know, but they have lasted us all this time and they still look good. So sometimes I'll cook my bacon and my ground beef and stuff in those. They're stainless steel. I think I'm gonna cut up one more piece. We're gonna get this breakfast cooked and then we're gonna get work on that pottery. 
I've got that order I've got to deliver this week, so I gotta get it finished. It's going to Arkansas. So if any of y'all are watching and you're from around Helena, Arkansas, I'll be delivering some pottery to Helena, Arkansas. I think it's West West Helena. I'm probably saying that wrong. All right, we're gonna let that get fried up and I'll be right back and we'll flip it. I know some of you have probably wondered about our pantry. Y'all saw our chicken screen door. So you've probably wondered about it. So I thought I've got to come in here and get my sifter to sift my flour after we made those biscuits. So I thought I would just show you guys. It's It needs to be organized and clean. And I need to do a video on organizing my pantry. And I may do that. But it goes up there and we have some of our canned stuff up here. But some of it is back in our laundry room on our pantry shelf in the laundry room. But it just kind of goes around right here. We've got some onions and peppers hanging dry. And there's our bacon stuff. And it just goes down from there. I won't show you the floor because it can get jammed packed in the floor with buckets because I've got um, our buckets of flour. I've got my bucket that, that my basket that my potatoes and stuff go in because we grow our potatoes. I do have some right there because I had to make a big pot of potato soup for the church, and so I just bought some uh, bag of potatoes, but we do grow our own potatoes. So. Oh, let me get my sifter. While our bacon's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get this flour sifted. Because you don't want to put your flour back up in your cabinet um, with milk and stuff in it because it will mold. So I just, usually there's only milk and stuff around the top layer of your flour. So I just kind of scoop all that out. I normally don't sift all the way to the bottom. And this is an old sifter. I don't know where I got it from. But it has, I have had it probably since me and him has been married. And so I know that's been almost 20 years ago. So all you do is you just sift until you get your pieces out and I got most of mine out and of course you'll see you'll still have like these crumbs and I just throw those in the garbage and I just kind of shake this down and I put my scooper back in here because this is the flour that I use if I am um, flour and chicken or anything that I need to put use flour for I just use this this is white white lily self rising flour is what this is and then um, in the bucket that I showed y'all in the buckets, one bucket has um, my bread flour in it, and I get that from Sam's. And then the other bucket has just regular um, all-purpose flour in it. And I also got that from Sam's. But I usually buy the white lily bags, and I keep an extra one in the refrigerator or the freezer, and this one, and then I dump a whole bag into my bowl. I'm gonna flip y'all around. We're gonna check this bacon. Cut this off because you don't want your eggs to just completely burn out. You want to add them to a hot skillet, but you don't want to completely burn them up as soon as you put them on your pan. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute. I need to add my biscuits and I did my oven on 475 this time seems like the last time I did them I did them on like 
four ninety five or five hundred, and the bottom just really got burned up. So I'm going to do them a little, a little lower temperature this time. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs fried up. Now I don't eat fried eggs normally in the mornings. I just eat a breakfast, so I'm just gonna cook enough for Justin. And Brody don't like eggs, so I'm gonna get them a cooking. And we just, I just salt and pepper his eggs. And I heard, here comes Justin now. You about ready for your breakfast? Uh, another cup of coffee. Um, yeah, of course y'all can't see him, but he's got his big old knife. On there, I don't know what he's All right, so we got our eggs fried. We're gonna just place them up right over here with our bacon. And now we're just waiting on the biscuits. And then we'll be ready to eat. All right, so I just took the biscuits out. And I don't have to cut my biscuits on broil because at 475 it cooks hot enough that I don't have to cut it on broil, but I wanted to, the skillet's hot, but I wanted to pick it up and show you our biscuits. Justin's sure gonna enjoy these biscuits for breakfast and Brody. And me, I'm sure I'll enjoy them too. But um, we hope you like this video. It's just a simple breakfast that we cooked. And um, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and um, please comment. Let me know what y'all are planning to do this fall, um, how you're enjoying this cool fall weather. Um, but we'll see you guys next time, and we thank y'all for watching.